All right, hey guys, it's me again, and today we're going to talk about the Mire, which is like a sword that literally no one talks about. And the only reason you'd probably ever craft this is for either the MR or for Conclave, because it, it's absolutely overpowered in Conclave. But with the melee rework, they actually buffed the shit out of this weapon, and I feel like no one has noticed at all. And it's actually a pretty solid weapon. For stats, it is status-based for the most part. This has a 31 base status chance. It also has very, very good range for a sword. It's on par with Exalted Blade as far as range, but obviously it doesn't shoot waves, so. And it has innate toxin damage, and that's what makes it fucking overpowered in Conclave. Now, why do I think this weapon is worth picking up despite, like, nobody wanting it? And the reason is, it actually has an augment. So, basically, this weapon can get, like, the highest amount of toxin damage in the game. And this is my current build. Now, I don't have Toxic Blight in there. You could fit it, like, right here. Though I don't feel like it does enough damage on its own as for against armor. But if you want to do something, like, against shields, you could run something like this and then get the highest modded Toxin in the game. And the thing is, like, they didn't mess with gas. This would be easily the best gas weapon in the entire game because of how much modded Toxin it can get. But, sadly, we all know what happened to gas. It's just not nearly as good as any anymore. Now, also, since nobody really uses this thing, it is does have a really, really high Riven Disposition of, like, 1.35, I think. I also wanted to put an extra Forma on this to fit in uh, Iron Phoenix, like a Stance Forma or something like that. I do have a spare one, and just put it on there. Because uh, I feel like this weapon would perform even better with Iron Phoenix, because Iron Phoenix has, like, guaranteed status procs in its combos. Versus all the other sword stances, Iron Phoenix is way more agile, and I feel like this weapon would perform way better with that. Uh, but let me just show you how it performs. So against eight Corrupted Heavy Gunners at level 165... Once we get up to like 12 times combo, this thing like kills kills these guys in a few hits. This guy full health. Well, it's not gonna stay that way for long, as you can see. This thing is pretty solid for an MR5 weapon that literally no one uses. Uh, and I I really wish they didn't change gas because this would be really really good uh, as a gas weapon. Now for toxin uh, against the corpus, to see, see how much we benefit with that modded toxin here. I'm just gonna spawn in eight of these guys. Uh, you know, we're, we're gonna go 20, because I have confidence in this weapon. Uh... Yeah, look at that. Oh, one more. Wipes them out with ease. Now, even against armor, with the sheer amount of modded toxin we have on this weapon, it's not even that bad against armor. So I'm gonna bring back the heavy gunners again. Oop. Kinda don't like this bridge here. But it's better than falling off the edge all, all the time. But you can see, yeah, look at that. That's not even that bad. Considering it's just pure toxin. Look at that damage over time. Not sure, our time to kill is not that great. To be completely fair with you guys. Uh, with the pure toxin But uh, if you want like a general all-rounder build I feel like the pure toxin would be better overall Because you can get viral procs off of the blight effect from toxic blight and in case you guys don't know what the blight effect does It's red veils little signature effects or syndicate effect. Excuse me that does an aoe viral proc with that for a thousand damage and it gives you back energy and i think it also gives you like speed as well but get free energy like aoe damage so you technically you can get a viral toxin on this and viral toxin would be insane now sure it is like xp based the way this works but and we can't get xp in here so i can't show you how decent it is but it's pretty solid 
Now, if you wanted to build for, like, what, viral electric or viral heat, you could. Uh, but you'd probably want to go lean more on the heat than the viral. But I will show you how that performs right here. And you see I have way more viral than I do heat, which is probably not ideal for this weapon. Like, I do want to proc viral, but I want the heat damage to be higher, ideally. And you see, it's pretty decent with viral. So yeah, this is a pretty underrated weapon, considering that it's only MR5. It's been buffed to hell, and absolutely no one uses this weapon. Man, it really hurts me that they changed gas, because this would have been easily one of the best gas weapons in the entire game. But yeah, anyway guys, that's all from me. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.